Oh, I tell you, this thing is working pretty nicely. Hmm. We have 150 spiders, roughly. But yeah, it's really hard to kill them without a potion anyway, so this may take a while. Alright, hello everyone. Uh, let's play some more Minecraft. I'm Yasha and I've been killing a lot of spiders. As you can see I have too much levels. Absolutely need to get rid of them. So let's do some enchanting. First a pick, because my efficiency pick is almost dead. And this is really nice. Alright, I enchanted some crappy books as well, but you don't need to see that. Pretty much all of them were crappy, besides one, one Unbreaking book, Unbreaking 3. And I was thinking about what to do uh, for this episode, and I actually want to elaborate on my words that I will transform this into a brewing mostly brewing and fishing base so yeah we'll do some brewing ingredient farming today but first let me show you what I did here this big mess of redstone has its purpose it's overly complicated for what it does but you know what I'm a technical player I don't mind a lot of redstone and it's a sensor for detecting if the spiders are spawning. We have tripwire here. When a spider spawns, it definitely triggers it. And then the signal goes up with these torches. Hey, they got, hey there, guy. Uh, oh, wait. I need to kill it. Die. I've been getting a lot of slime spawning in here. Quite a few slime chunks around. So yeah, as I was saying, the tripwire sends the signal up here to this line. And this is an this line and this is an RS Norlatch which gets set by those tripwire hooks. And after it gets set this timer starts counting has 64 items in there probably not the uh, right number I have to tweak that but um, the, the timer starts and this lamp this torch tower here powers up that lamp which we have there and that indicates the spiders are spawning so after a while the like 10 or 20 seconds the RS Norledge gets reset through this wire here uh, but the timer is still running because we have items in this hopper and so th this timer then powers the powers the lamp but if if the timer runs out and the RS Norledge doesn't get set by the trip wires like we have now, the lamp is uh, turns off. So that means that for about 40-45 seconds there was no spawn uh, and the line turns off. So let me show you how this works in practice. We heard the tripwire, the, there were spiders spawning and the light came on and now this timer is ticking and after this hopper gets empty it will reset the RS Norlatch and 
then after a while uh, if there is no spawning it will set it back so let me get here to my fish farm which kinda is a problem and we will be able to see that we are out of range of the spider spawner if we stay here which is very unfortunate and means that we cannot use the fish farm and the spider farm at the same time so that's a pretty strong argument for moving the fish farm so I think that will be the first the first thing that we do today uh, let me just wait for that light to turn off so you can see that in fact there is no spider spawning it takes a while but you know uh, with spawners there can be up to 40 seconds between two spawns so I had to make sure the timer covers that, that difference oh. it just went off so no spider spawning while we are in, in the fish farm but as soon as we move closer the spider should spawn again and the light should come on again let's just see if this happens yeah okay I'll just turn off the whole farm I don't need any more string I got a lot just from like tinkering and testing with this trap so here uh, I added this staircase which goes up to our portal area and while I was thinking about how to decorate it I came up with an idea to have four rooms here uh, each one dedicated to farming a different brewing ingredient like nether warts, sugar, melons, rabbits even I don't know there is a lot of stuff mushrooms uh, we need all that for our brewing station so yeah I think that's a pretty neat idea to have like a small farm for each of the brewing ingredients here but then again the fish farm is in the way it's in the way here with its redstone and water and stuff and it's in the way here because here is the sky access point for the fish farm which is pretty much necessary because it increases rates of the fish farm by a lot so yeah I guess it's a bad day to be a fish farm in my world sorry I got distracted there um, surprise visitors never mind uh, let's get on to it and destroy this fish farm first let me take out the remaining loot and then we'll just break it all right I removed the fish farm and now we are left with this empty cove which we will use for one of our farms but here I already prepared the place um, for the new fish farm and one thing is I don't like these leaves how they are in line with the with the wall so hmm, I have redstone here and I don't know what to do about it maybe some stairs or something uh, or just move everything one block away but that will cause problems hmm. Wait. Hmm. 
Maybe I could move it. It works. All right. And for the piston, I can also move it, I think, no problem. So we don't see it, although I almost like seeing seeing redstone blocks get pushed around. What am I doing? Piston. I don't need that. need a dust here. Nice. Okay, I will put something here to make it look nicer, but at least we got rid of that pesky leaves. And yeah, I wanna Oh. oh, it's not over yet. Hmm. It's getting bad powered. From here. So what I actually want to do is this. and this and this okay so now for the fish farm I'm this time I'm going to build it a bit differently uh, and it's in the tutorial so I may just do it on camera so place these cup hoppers here um, fishing pole chest yeah this is correct um, for the storage I want to do something with more space so I'll just go like that mm. here we should have another chest but in this case <coughs> I think I'll just put some blocks stone pressure plate here cobble fence here Looks like this, uh, like this. Iron trapdoor. Blocks here. Glass here. Mm. Maybe want to grow grass here. Something. Uh, here will be a door. Now we go above. Redstone. Mm. Torch. Either three ticks. OK, 
Okay, that starts a loop, which is correct. Shut that off. Mm. Trip wire here and here. Piece of string. Yeah, this should be okay. Cool. Mm. That's pretty much it. I think all that we need to do now is... Okay, that's it for the fish farm. I think I just need to place the water in and we're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna close this up now. I'll do it off camera and <clears throat> then we'll continue the work on the other farms. So the last thing I need to do about this fish farm is to dig some sky access for it. And I looked at the coordinates and I think the water is exactly under here. Let us hope so. Yep. And I destroyed the string. Problem. Alright. So I made it like this. I may add some more detail here but it will be like here um, I'm currently out of jungle wood and leaves so I need to go gather that but essentially yeah here are the fishing rods and this nice little living room I will add some paintings and maybe carpets or something uh, is actually the storage I have three double chests there are, there are hoppers behind them that feed them from the fish farm. So that's it. And now I need to show you something. And that's my dirt storage. That's pretty much all the dirt I have. And considering I want to build some farms, uh, I really need to gather some dirt. So, next thing, um, next time I'll be back, I'll show you my dirt gathering place. So, see you there. Alright, welcome to my dirt quarry, aka the spawn chunks. So, this uh, leaf pillar here represents the world spawn. Um, I want to put some item frames around with compasses in to visualize it but <laughs> I don't have any leather at the moment so yeah these are the spawn chunks from here six chunks in all directions I think and long term my long term plan for them is to flatten them and make a big flat area because I wanna build something here and you can probably already guess what it is built in spawn chunks loaded all the time 
I don't know. It will be some time until I actually get to building it because we have a lot of digging to do the, to do here in order to flatten flatten this area. But yeah, now I just came to pick up some dirt and also got quite a bit of wood. I'm kind of short on wood, so I'll take that. Take a, some grass blocks and most importantly, our dirt. So we can finally start making some farms. And now I'm running out of food, so I'll slowly return to my base, which is just over there. So yeah, let me get back and I'll show you also what I did uh, with the fish farm. I actually finished it. So, see you soon. Oh, I'm gonna steal all your wheat. Nom, 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 nom. So yeah, this is still the only place I have some wheat growing, so I may as well set up a temporary farm in my cave. <laughs> so yeah, now let's go back. Alright, so that's the fish farm pretty much complete besides the jungly stuff that will come here in in the ceiling also here and here but I will gather that between episodes uh, so yeah fishing poles fishing rods here put a nice little item frame fish come out here and other stuff Nice little painting here, little fern in a pot, and yeah, this turned out to be a pretty nice lounge. Wood lounge here, 10 out of 10. So yeah, uh, I edited the footage of this episode and it's already quite long, so um, I think I'll finish it here and continue tomorrow. But for the last thing, I want to make, um, make a little sign because I keep forgetting what farms do we need here. So, oh, we need a melon farm, we need a carrot farm, we need sugar, rabbit, nether wart, and... brown shroom so yeah this will be the subject of the future episodes um, we need to squeeze them in these rooms because I decided so I decided like that so yeah this will be a problem we have to work with I wanna make them fairly automatic not like big butt power designs because obviously they won't fit in here but maybe have them running on a, on a timer or something like that um, but yeah mainly I wanna I wanna make them look nice in these four holes and this hole here will probably be the sugarcane farm not 100% sure but quite sure so yeah, that's it for this time. It was an easygoing episode, but I'm very satisfied with this fish farm and this living room and the fact that we have a spider spawner indicator and everything. Now pretty much I can AFK in the fish farm, uh, get some XP and drops from spiders and that's really cool. So yeah. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.